hey guys welcome back to another video on my channel it's victory marie and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my hygiene routine and i'm also going to be giving y'all tips on how to smell your bed so let's just get right on into this going to start off with some basic stuff like things you should be doing every single day so i really recommend drinking a lot of water drinking water is just really good for you it's healthier than any other drink you can ever have and kind of give yourself a goal like if you want to drink this certain amount of water then tell yourself i'm going to drink maybe like four stanley's worth of water in one day also i would say get a cute cup that you can drink out of every single day because i feel like that is such a motivator for you if you want to drink more water and also bring it with you every single day next thing i would say is get a good night's sleep and also eat healthy at least try to eat your vegetables don't just put them to the side and like make an effort to actually eat healthy because it really does pay off now let's get into the actual products so the first thing i want to share with y'all is my skincare routine i honestly don't think i'll ever make a dedicated skincare routine video because it's really not the type of video i like to make but i'm just going to share with y'all everything i've been using recently so the first thing i would do in my skincare routine if i have makeup on is basically get micellar water and just basically take it off with like a little toner pad i have a travel size one right now because i'm low-key taking a break from makeup i'm not really into it as much anymore so i don't really take off a lot but when i do wear it this is what i use the next thing i go with is my cleansers so this is the first cleanser i use this is a cream cleanser and i really like it because it lasts so long this is from the brand numbers in it's basically a korean skincare brand i highly recommend just look into it because it's so good and i honestly think it's better than like american skincare brands and then basically i'll wash that off and then i'll use this basically a panoxyl type of cleanser this is from different i know there's the blue one that everybody likes to use i actually do recommend that as well but it is a bit too much for me especially during the winter month because my face is really prone to like drying out but yeah these are the two things i like to use also if you do wear a lot of makeup i recommend to use an oil-based cleanser to get all of the makeup off and then use another cleanser as well this will literally make sure that all your makeup is taken off and you have nothing on your skin when you go to sleep after my cleansers i will go ahead with these blemish pads again this is korean skincare and i highly recommend i use this only sometimes though if my skin is really needing it i will use it i have the tea tree one and i also have the blemish one this is what the pads look like and it comes with this little thing to take them out of the box usually if i'm in a rush i'll just go ahead and wipe my face off with it but if i want to take my time i'll just go ahead and put the pads on my face for like 20 minutes and just chill after that i'll go in with my serum sometimes i use both of these sometimes i just use one it depends honestly how i feel about my skin and then the very last thing i use for my skincare routine is a moisturizer if i'm not really feeling like i'm too dry i'll just go in with this but if i'm feeling really really dry that day i'll go in with this and also aquaphor on the places that i'm kind of like peeling like my skin usually peels like around my mouth and stuff like that so i'll just go in with this i also wanted to mention that i do dermaplan my face which if y'all don't know what dermaplaning is it's basically using this razor and just kind of shaving off the peach fuzz but i only do it every three to four weeks don't do this every single day like it can really mess up your skin barrier and if you have dry skin it can make you even drier next up i'm going to talk about my hair care i know i don't have my natural hair right now but when i do have my natural hair i like to really try and take care of it especially nowadays because i did cut my hair guys so i just really want it really healthy because i didn't cut it for nothing so the first things i'm going to share with y'all are my shampoos if i'm doing like a regular wash day by the way i usually wash my hair maybe once every week i don't really wash my hair that much and anyone that's gonna tell you you have to wash your hair daily obviously does not have curly hair okay i feel like it really depends on your hair type how much you should be washing your hair and it also depends on you so i use this shampoo right here this is the ogx i've been using this y'all probably for so many years now i don't even remember. i think i started using this in third grade and i've never looked back if i'm trying to detox my hair though this is the shampoo i'm using this is what you want to use if you're like trying to do a silk press and you want no product in your hair whatsoever this is the way like detoxing shampoo don't use this every single day this is not like a daily use type of thing now i'm gonna go into the conditioners i use again i use the ogx conditioner this is really really good i actually use this as a leave-in conditioner and then a newer one that i've been using is the tijin conditioner i just really like this as well i also recommend to use this type of comb if you have curlier hair because this is really really good to not get split ends and also to like just not rip your hair out now let's go into dental care so the first thing i use is my dentec flosses before i brush my teeth or anything this is the toothpaste i use it's colgate nothing too fancy this is just the one that works for me the most after i use my toothpaste i go in with my mouthwash this is actually something i learned from a girl on tiktok but you basically use this mouthwash and then you 
also go ahead and put this on your toothbrush and kind of just brush your teeth with the mouthwash still in your mouth with this on your toothbrush and if you didn't know by the way this is actually like a whitening paste it's not something you should be using just to clean your teeth alone this is not something that you're going to be cleaning your teeth with this is just a whitening thing on its own the very last thing i like to do in my dental care is a tongue scraper i honestly never knew the specialties of a tongue scraper but it's so beneficial and it just makes you have peace of mind to know that your breath is actually fresh because you're scraping your tongue like your tongue actually gets dirty guys now let's get into my shower routine the first thing i want to do is basically just get all this scent off of my body i just use my dove bar soap it's just a clean dove soap that can make you like go back to your natural scent i guess and then i go in with my dove body wash i recommend to get one that's not scented because you kind of just want to do like a whole reset to your scent so i recommend getting one that's not scented but this is the one i have right now i just really trust dove and then my next step goes into a scented body wash so this is the scent that i would want to have the rest of the day and i have a lot of different ones that i use honestly they really switch up depending on what type of smell i want but at the current moment these are my two favorites this is the coconut oil miracle body wash from ogx again guys ogx is such a good self-care brand i highly recommend especially their coconut scents like if you like coconut you're gonna like this and then i also have this native body wash that i like as well as y'all can tell i really like fruity scents i've been trying it out for so long now i think some of y'all asked me like to give y'all an update from my hygiene shopping video and it's been so long but this is actually something i recommend it's really really nice and it smells really sweet and by the way when i use my body washes i use them with these gloves i honestly just think this is a game changer if you've never used glove in your shower routine i highly recommend it's so good and it makes your skin so soft guys and right after i use those i go ahead and shave the reason why i recommend to exfoliate before you shave there's a lot of dead skin cells in your hair follicles before you shave and you kind of want to get rid of that to get the best shave possible don't have my shaving cream right now because i ran out but i basically use the eo shaving cream it's super super good i highly recommend it's not irritating whatsoever and then right after i go ahead and shave i will exfoliate again because dead skin cells do get trapped in your open hair follicles again so i make sure to use another scrub this is the one from treha i recommend literally any of their scrubs from that brand because it's just so good and they smell so good so after i get out of the shower i will go ahead and use my ordinary toner for my underarms because this makes your underarms less dark basically i also don't recommend to use this right after you've shaved your underarms because it kind of does burn a little bit and then once that dries i go in with my secret deodorant this is the one i've been using after that i will go ahead and moisturize my body with this dove like unscented lotion i have literally so many of these y'all and for my body that's what i use but for my legs this is what i use this is the eucerin unscented lotion this is for basically like dark spots on your legs and also strawberry legs if you get that then after all of that i will go in with an actual scented lotion since those are not scented they don't really smell like anything at all so i just wanted to go ahead and lock in my scent it depends also like what body wash i use that day as well but i have a lot of different types of lotions that i use my first pick would usually be this the eos vanilla cashmere lotion i really really like this it smells really really good or this tropic tree hut lotion that i got this matches the coco colada scrub so i like to use it with this okay sorry for the angle change guys my camera ended up dying but as i was saying i also have these selection of lotions to pick out of it really depends on my mood that day I also have this bum bum cream i literally don't use this all the time but when i do i love it sometimes i'll honestly use this as a hand cream when i'm in bed because y'all sometimes my hands are so dry and i only notice it until i'm in bed so i use this for my hand cream if you want to make this last longer go ahead and get like an unscented lotion and mix it with this and it'll literally have you smelling like this all day but it'll still like last you a really long time and then the last thing i like to do when i'm in the shower i don't even know why but i like to go ahead and clean my ears this is honestly an anytime type of thing but i usually do it after i've gotten out of the shower it's just usually there in my bathroom but honestly i know this is like low-key bad for you to clean your ears with q-tips but this is honestly how i grew up so that's just what i use the very last thing i wanted to touch on is basically my perfumes i honestly have so many perfumes that i like to use it really depends on my mood again but i'm also like the type of girl that will literally think of my perfumes as eras i like to keep a perfume or a scent for a very long time and then i will literally not change it until i'm done with that scent or like i have no more in the bottle unless i really like it and i want to buy it again right now my favorite scent combo is this yara perfume this literally smells like vanilla guys it smells so good and it lasts so long and then i like to pair it with this warm and cozy body mist basically from pink and it smells so good together i really really like it also another
another tip if you want your scent to last a long time i recommend getting some aquaphor or like vaseline and just basically putting it where you want it to stay like usually i put aquaphor right here or like right here and i'll just spray my perfume and it literally stays for so much longer because now your perfume has something to stick on we're basically getting to the end guys but the last things i want to say is my lip care i really really like this lip mask from pink i've been using it literally as lip gloss it's just so good i really like it especially for winter months because my lips get so dry and they crack up and obviously aquaphor is also a great way to make your lips a lot more moisturized and then i think the last thing i just wanted to say is to clean your makeup brushes literally guys oh my god your skin gets so dirty with all the products you put on it but like your makeup brushes is one of those things that honestly can contribute so much to like acne or just like bad skin in general so i recommend to clean your makeup brushes and i think that's basically all for like my hygiene tips or my hygiene routine thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in another video